Hi everyone, my name is Acacia. I use they, them, or fey, fair pronouns. Um, I am the proprietor of Acacia.gay. It is a website dedicated to intimacy, sexuality, gender, disability, um, but a lot of different things, all of that in film. Um, particularly, I work as an intimacy coordinator, which means I choreograph scenes of simulated sex, and it's intimacy, nudity, um, yeah. I use Acacia.gay to um, really educate, I think, is the biggest word that comes to mind for me. Um, I work in an incredibly new field. There aren't a lot of people out there doing what I do, working as an intimacy coordinator in film and television. But more than that, I think there's a lot of, like, standards and protocols that people don't know about when it comes to these things. And so a lot of what I do is I teach how to make scenes of intimacy and nudity safe, sexy, and healthy. I used to have a motto on the first page of my website and it said, mediating diversity through authenticity. And I think that really still rings true for me. What I do, you know, I am a mediator, I'm a communicator. I help directors communicate with actors, producers communicate with the crew. I make sure that everyone is informed. Um, consent. Consent is like the like crux of what I do. My mission is to make sure that everyone can be informed about, you know, what it is they can do to be safer um, and to have more fun. And I think it's also a place for me to be me. Um, there's not a lot of freedom, especially for queer people, on social media and on job platforms, you know, like being someone who's non-binary who uses they fair pronouns, which most people haven't even heard of, um, there's not a lot of room to be authentic and my website gives me a platform to completely be myself. My website, Acacia Gay, is a living thing to me, and I'm always updating it. I'm always putting new blog posts out. I'm creating new pages. I'm updating the pages that I have on there. I'm putting out, you know, the films that I'm working on, which I work on a lot of queer content. So if you like, you know, queer films, TV shows, etc., cetera, uh, definitely a place to keep updated on what's going on there as well. If you're curious about what's going on in the world of film and television and gender and sexuality and intimacy and um, all these sort of intersections of identity, I, there's a bunch of others that I could talk about. Um, but yeah, I think if you're looking to learn more about anything in that area, you should visit. It is really fulfilling to bring stories about my community to my community through my work. I'm proud of what I do because like I said I get to help people one-on-one -on -one, but also I get to tell stories that are part of our community and get to be a part of our community and get to bring our experiences to broader audiences and I have always wanted to do that since I was a little kid. I've always wanted to tell stories about people, especially about people in the LGBTQ community. And so getting to do this work is a lifelong dream for me. I am so passionate about my website. I like spend so much time working on it. Um, and it's really a passion project for me and not just like a way to make jobs, but really a way to make connections. And I've gotten to meet people from literally all over the world. I've talked to people from India, from Australia, from the UK, from Spain, from Sweden, from Canada. Um, that's a, like a lot of different countries and people I've never met before, never heard. And they find me through my website and I get to talk to them about the things I'm most passionate about. And I'm really grateful for that.